Welcome back to the channel guys. <clears throat> Today has been extremely hectic. Um, for one, I ran my truck out of gas, or out of diesel, and um, I got stranded up by my neighbors. So I had another neighbor <laughs> drive me back here and my wife was on her way to coming and checking up on me so she was coming to get me well um we ended up going to town getting some diesel putting diesel in here well i thought maybe the oil was too low because you know with these huey injectors if you're low on oil you you know you your vehicle also won't start so i went to walmart oh sorry i'm cramping i got a bad cramp in my hip I have been running all day today and I have not had time to properly sit down and take a rest. But anyway, yeah, uh, went to Walmart, got some oil, came back, I put the oil in there. Well, after trying to start this thing again, it still wouldn't start. And so I was like, let me pop open the uh, high pressure oil pump reservoir. I looked down in there, full of oil. That's not the problem, it's not low on oil. So you know what I did? I popped the um, uh, fuel filter housing off and um, it was about maybe three quarters of the way empty. So a quarter full. And so um, what I ended up doing was leaving that cap off because I tried priming the system this whole time. I think that when you leave the cap on there it causes that air pocket to stay in there and it's it takes a long time i almost ran my batteries down trying to start this thing up but uh, i left that um, fuel filter cap off cycled the key a few times and it uh, filled all the way up it spilled and it fired right up so a lot of you guys out there that's having a no crank no start after you run out of fuel Pull your fuel filter cap off, leave it off, and fill it. Uh, let that fuel bowl fill all the way up, and then put the cap back on. I think that air pocket's keeping fuel from reaching the uh, injectors. That's honestly what I think is going on. But I'm about to go on another um, test drive. Um, <clears throat> a lot has happened since I last filmed. We got a new vehicle. Um, and a lot of people don't like the engine that's in it. It's the, they call it the dreaded uh, 5.4 liter three valve. It's not that big of a deal if you know what to do and how to take care of it. I've been dealing with um, four sixes and five fours for going on 30 years. So um, not a difficult engine to keep up if you know what to do. But I'm going to test drive this because I'm trying to see if it'll shift out of third or out of second gear into third. Um, I had some trouble earlier with this thing not idling properly uh, and I think that had to do with it being low on fuel. Now that I have five gallons in here, I'm going to go on a spirited drive, see if everything uh, runs properly. I, it's got a little hesitation in it because it's still trying to work that air out of there. But uh, I'm going to hop on the highway, uh, give it the beans. Hopefully that'll get the air out and it'll let me know if it shifts into third gear because as of right now we only have one vehicle and you know living back here you need a backup so um i will um you know what i will give an update in this video because i will uh edit and make two uh two video one video out of two so stay tuned and i'll be right back all right, so it looks like I just needed to drive the shit out of the truck. You know, drive it like I stole it because it uh, apparently fixed everything. So, um, I was not, I was having trouble getting into third gear. Well, after I, uh, I got the uh, Transgo steel uh, valves for the um, accumulator uh, shifter valve. And then all I did was just clean up the, um, main valve body but yeah i'm getting overdrives third second first so um yeah i mean i probably will end up having to do a um 
uh, transmission rebuild or replacement here in the near future but as of now I have my truck back and that's really what matters most but uh, yeah, now apparently I've got to head home and call my uncle because his battery is dead on his truck so uh, it never ends back here but you know I wouldn't trade it for the world thanks for watching guys later gators